Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. The Season 4 Reloaded update, as we know, included a ton of weapon tuning and weapon changes to some of the meta rifles, SMGs, snipers even, and today we're going over the new top 10 best loadouts to be using after the reloaded update the best weapons attachments perks equipment you name it we're going over it here today as we break it all down if you enjoy the video at any point let me know by dropping a like on it let's try and go for 3,000 likes on this one would seriously appreciate it if we could hit that and if you're new to the channel or if you're a part of the 54 percent of viewers who haven't already subscribed you already know every single day i got you covered with everything going on in cod news updates loadouts leaks tips you name it it's right here so feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so i want to start first with my two uh sort of restock or regain loadouts if you will these are two classes that i'm not necessarily using right off the rip like this is not the first loadout i'm grabbing right instead this is my second loadout to maximize my perks this is if i win a gulag and i come back and i need a quick setup these are the classes i'm grabbing you guys can see one features the stg here one features the bar just depends on what you're feeling one also features restock or tempered that is one of the main changes especially with a lot of the ground loot perks let's say uh, i happen to find restock on ground loot right away i can grab the tempered class maximize my perks there vice versa if i find tempered first i can go ahead and get restock and maximize them both very early on into the game so uh, i'm like i said i'm not grabbing this first most of the time just to restock or regain if i need it uh the primary here is totally preference though like i said i'm trying to add in some variety for some good setups for you guys yes the bar was nerfed but actually this thing's still pretty solid when it comes down to it setup really hasn't changed all that much from before outside of one thing i'm still using the mx silencer the 30 inch barrel for the best control range all of that good stuff three to six times scope i did end up changing from the wire stock back to the chariot w because they did nerf the control on the bar significantly with the season four reloaded update i think it's still super easy to use but this is going to make it a little bit more consistent we've got carver on there because the recoil is just straight vertical clouser 40 is still better than the bmg round just because it's easier to use it's got a better ttk in general uh lengthened hatched on there as always for the better control this was nerfed a tad bit but it's still better than polymer in most cases uh we've got hard scope on there and then finally fully loaded or uh on hand for the faster ads flip-flop those just totally comes down to preference now you'll notice the secondary on both these setups is the rat and that's simply because i'm looking for fully loaded i want to maximize my pistol and smg ammo that way if i get one kill here i can grab a ppsh off the ground if i open a chest and there's a well gun i got max ammo for that so this rat setup not really relevant i'm never using this it's just there for mobility and to maximize my ammo like i said but i got strife compensator the 98 mil barrel uh hair trigger 20 round mag subsonic to keep me off the map if i have to shoot tapes for movement acrobatic for movement fully loaded to maximize that ammo that setup's the same on both of these classes uh the stg setup real quick here as well mx silencer 760 barrel 2.5 times optic or the three to six also run and weighted here again for the same reason as over on the bar they nerfed the control here so this is going to help bring that back in line and make it just super easy to use in general carver the 50 round uh magazine here lengthened hatched yet again nerves of steel for the better control while injured and then fully loaded or on hand whichever you prefer so those are two sort of alternative class setups but the perks and equipment here i do want to take note of because that way we don't have to talk about them on any of these other loadouts i've been running a lot of serpentine overkill in combat scout recently of course serpentine was nerfed but i still find this to be the best perk one perk uh over double time over eod even over cold blooded despite the combat scout spam it's just the most uh beneficial in those clutch situations obviously we got the tempered and restock on these setups for the regain purposes but on all the other setups we're of course using overkill and we'll switch to either tempered or restock later and perk three well amped is great we can always get faster weapon swap off of grips and combat scouts just so op if you're not using it you're getting fried by it and then for uh you know the equipment here throwing knives i've always got on there for the easy finishes but if you're more of a frag person or a semtex those are also great right now uh then snapshots we know that how strong they are right now this is a meta of just using the cheesiest stuff to get those kills a little bit easier and snapshots are one extra step towards that goal stuns though also feeling good stims as well if uh if snapshots get a hard nerf i'm going right back to stims this is a lot more preference based and right now i'm kind of ratty because it's just like every gunfight i'm getting snapshot and i'm getting combat scouted so i'm gonna send it right back but now getting into the more realistic class setups here first up we have one that i've seriously been enjoying lately we got the as44 we've got the mp40 after the nerfs to the nz the bar the stg the as44 is more valuable than ever but it's also three times harder to use than all those weapons combined right this thing has way worse recoil way worse damage per mag but it's ttk when you do land shots is the best in the game it's unreal 
It makes me feel like I'm using the OG AMAX, which was a harder weapon to use, but it was so much more rewarding. That's what I get out of the AS44. In this case, the MP40 is just a solid secondary here. You can mix and match any primary and secondary we're talking about in this video. I just happen to go with the MP40 on this class. You could also throw on something like a Marco, a Blixen, or the other subs that we'll talk about here in a bit. But as far as the AS44 setup goes, this was not really touched in the uh, reloaded update, so it's still going to be super consistent. MX silencer, the 615 barrel for that better control and range. I like the 2.5 times optic on there. You could also go 3 to 6, but this helps out a little bit more with control. The custom stock, uh, we got Carver on there for better control. The Garanko 50 for better control, better movement and whatnot. Lengthened, hatched, disable actually, because as we talked about a few weeks ago, this secretly increases your bullet velocity, so it makes it even better to medium and long range. Uh, outside of that, I'd probably go for steady or maybe gung ho but right now while this is currently got that secret bonus i'd be using that and then fully loaded or on hand yet again and then for the mp40 we're all about speed here recoil booster for the better ttk short barrel to make it nice and aggressive basic red dot and the slate reflector folding stock for the better sprint to fire and movement speed skeletal for the faster ads and better movement speed as well garenko 45 you could go for lengthens you could go for frangible hollow point or subsonic on any of these subs and they're all going to feel great like there is no wrong answer there it just comes down to what you value uh taped here for better movement yet again and also some swap speed uh steady here or perfectionist both of those work just fine and then quick on there for some better sprint speed as well next up another setup that's really spiked in value the nikita this thing got a buff with the season of four reloaded update and prior to the update we were already talking about how it's insanely insanely good right so this absolutely is a top tier weapon it's tricky though because just like the as44 not so great recoil not so great damage per mag and both of them thrive the most in mid-range but you can make them work for long range they also could very well easily be used for sniper support though as well so you got some diversity with the setups on it i've got the blixen as the secondary as well yes this got nerfed but it's also still one of the best smgs for close range zero to 20 meters the blixen is still a top one top two choice for most players so that nerf was not even close to being enough now on the nikita the setup is going to change here depending on what you want the most but first up i got the mx silencer i'd be using that on everything the barrels what you might want to end up changing if you want a super long range one go for the 613 it's slower but has better control the sniper barrel here is nice and ideal for like some mid-range and more aggressive gameplay so that's what i've been using this for you just have to you know manage your gunfights accordingly you're not trying to chow at 200 meters you want to close the gap in there uh, and make it a little bit more close range 2.5 times optic yet again the folding stock or you could use the notch stock for better control i don't feel like like you need that control that much for the fights that I'm taking with it. I prefer that movement speed. Carver for better control. The 60 round drums I've been testing out recently and they do make it a bit easier to use with that better control. 50 though does have a slightly better TTK over range. So it sort of comes down to what you want to use. If you're going for that long range again with the 613 barrel, run the 50 round mags and it'll be better for long range, uh, at least for TTK. Lengthened. I've actually got grooved here. I've been messing around with this. There is a bit of horizontal movement here. So that helps out. But also the strafe speed's not too bad either. You could also go for something like polymer or hatched if you wanted to as well. And both would work just fine. Perfectionist for better control and then fully loaded or on hand on there yet again jumping over to the blixen the setup really hasn't changed since last season recoil booster f3 barrel which was not nerfed you love to see that so it's still super consistent slate reflector remove stock i like the compact under barrel for the strafe speed makes it nice and ideal there they did slightly nerf the headshot multiplier on the grank of 54 mags i still feel like it's very strong you could maybe try out the 72 extended mag but still for ttk purposes 54 is the way to go subsonic taped for better movement fleet and quick on there for better movement as well pretty solid smg setup like i said still one of the best in the game following that we've got one that now is back in the form of the Krig. We saw it got a surprise buff of season four reloaded and it's low recoil and solid damage over range, I think brings it back in line with being one of the top rifles in the game. And I love it. I'm pairing this one with my sort of strafe speed based type 100, which has a great TTK and really, really fun movement. The Krig setup, I mean, do we really have to go over the cold war ones we will because there's several of them in this video but we all know their copy and paste agency suppressor the mill spec or the ranger barrel both work well here mill specs going to give you the utmost control and make it a laser beam field agent grip the 60 round mag here no point in running the fast mag uh just not worth it for that slower ads and then the three times optic uh basic cold war copy and paste setup we all know about that by now then like i said this type 100 build is built around strafe speed while maintaining a good ttk so We've got recoil booster on there. I've actually got the light barrel instead of the rapid barrel because this is going to help out with the sprint to fire, the ADS, and the aim walking movement strafe, which makes it a little bit faster. Basic red dot, as always. The folding stock here for better aim walking movement speed also helps out with the initial control a little bit, which is nice and ideal. 
compact underbarrel again better aim walking movement speed if you're not super comfortable with the control throw on something like carver or hand stop or even strife angled and it'll, it'll still feel pretty solid i got the 30 russian short here for the best ttk if you want something with better dpm 48 is still viable here the ttk just won't be as fast lengthened subsonic frangible it does not matter whatever you're the most comfortable with there whatever you want to seek out the most there we've got hatched here you could change it around and do something like groove for that uh, ads firing move speed but i'll just go for control in this case to help balance it out a little bit you know we got acrobatic for better movement and then quick on there again per usual next setup one that i think i'm going to be using a ton of in the coming weeks the vargo 52 and the ppsh the ppsh stock has risen up a lot since this update yes the blixen and the marco are still good they both got nerfs the ppsh did not and it's now indirectly a lot more competitive and i just love the feel of this thing vargo setup of course i mean it's the same thing as the krig right Gru suppressor task force spetsnaz 60 in the three times on there this is still feeling super super strong super easy to use definitely the better vargo in the game the vargo s not really worth using if i'm being honest with you then the ppsh here of course this is the vanguard one this is my ads build and like i said i just love the feel of this thing recoil booster i go for the 300 barrel for the slightly better control it makes it a little bit better in mid-range fights you could certainly use something like the light barrel for better speed if you wanted to but this feels the most consistent to me i like the aso 3p irons they're nice and clean easy to use remove stock for better movement skeletal for better movement the 71 round drums which is incredible for squad engagements hollow point subsonic frangible lengthened the usual deal there right Fabric for better movement, better ADS. Uh, we get tight grip on there for the better control, and then also quick for that better movement as well. Such a fun setup, and now a very, very strong SMG. Following that, another setup that I know everyone's going to be super excited to use, the Kilo. We saw it got a very spicy buff, that mid-range uh, drop-off now gone. Better damage range in general. Still, you know, past 80, past 90 meters, not going to be the best in the game, but fun to use, and it brings back some of that MW nostalgia, if you will. I'm pairing this one with the Armagera. Really been enjoying this. It got a slight nerf, but it's still very fun to use, in my opinion. The Kilo setup going to be very similar to the Cold War ones. Monolithic Suppressor, the Prowler Barrel, in this case, the largest barrel. We got Commando, 50 or 60 on there. 50 just slightly faster, so I'll opt for that. Then also the VLK 3 times Optic. We go ahead, we throw on the T-Pose reticle for that, make it nice and clean. But basic setup that we've been using for multiple years now. Armagera setup here basically has not changed since the last season it did get slightly worse though but slightly worse of being very good is still pretty good right so recoil booster the precision barrel which is uh for headshot damage it's just not going to be as good of headshot damage as before that's what got nerfed there slate reflector though skeletal stock for the better strafe speed initial recoil on there as well nice and ideal skeletal for better movement yet again we got the 9 mil 60 length in for some of that mid-range fight this is actually really good over range for like sniper support it's got one of the better ttks past 20 meters uh tapes for movement hard go for better control you could also go uh for something like slide of hand or steady if you wanted to and quick on there as always now the nz was nerfed but it's also still probably the best overall rifle in the game it still has very manageable recoil the nerf was not enough and it's ttk over range while it's not as good as it was before is still super competitive because it's still so easy to use so if i was playing in a hundred thousand dollar tournament tomorrow i'd be using the nz and you know opting for whatever sub you're the most confident with for the sake of variety in this video we got the owen gun on there because this is still a super competitive smg uh but yeah you can always mix and match like i mentioned earlier for the nz though setup did not change at all from last season mx silencer the 360 barrel three to six times scope the e-pack stock strife angled under barrel for some slightly better control sakura 50 is still the way to go despite some changes there you could always try out 40 but you're kind of pushing it with that magazine capacity lengthened hatched brace and then also fully loaded on there yet again oh we don't have to worry about any conflicts here because epac is just general control it's not sustained so brace will still work just fine there also for what it's worth though uh acrobatics not bad frenzy is also not too bad but standard setup there then for the owen this is just the top tier ttk setup that we all know by now recoil booster no barrel for the best ttk slate remove stock i've been opting for the steady uh, under barrel here for the better control and better hip fire makes it nice and ideal carver or hand stop or even strife angled also would work uh 60 lengthened tapes acrobatic quick sort of the standard stuff on that one then we've got what i think is probably my new favorite loadout in the game we got the kgm 40 we got the marco yes both were nerfed but both still feel ridiculously good the ttk on the marco is a little bit worse than before but it's got the insane movement speed i love that and its ttk is still super super solid for close range the kg despite the nerf still super low recoil and just so easy to use that the uh, actual realistic ttk 
is phenomenal. It's kind of the new NZ, just not as broken and not as strong, so it's a little bit more balanced that way. For the setup here, we're going for the MX Silencer, the Shrouded Barrel, the three to six times scope. There's like no recoil on this. Even at six times, it's a laser beam. Uh, we got the padded stock for better control. Skeletal for a faster ADS because the ADS here is pretty abysmal and the control is so good, you don't need to use an actual underbarrel for that. Clouser 60, basic Xenomag, lengthened, hatched, tight grip, and fully loaded on there as always, or on hand if you want to, uh, of course. And then on the Marco, this is a no recoil, but also super aggressive build. We got the recoil booster, the 342 barrel for the better velocity, better control and whatnot. Slate reflector, the FR stock for better initial control, ADS speed, movement speed, super nice there. Skeletal for better movement speed and ADS. I'm still liking the 64 on drums. 48 though also feels pretty good. This just is what I've been the most comfortable with recently. Uh, subsonic taped gung ho for that uh, better sprint to fire, which is also nice and ideal. Or fire while sprinting rather just makes it more aggressive uh, than quick as always and then lastly we got my sniper setup which is feeling pretty strong here uh three line it's like borderline the most competitive meta sniper that we've got in the game i'm pairing this with the cooper the nikita would also work here so with the as44 if you wanted to use the new vargo s it's the best to sniper support so that's maybe what i would run there you can definitely change this up though you could even run an mw mp7 if you wanted to honestly uh but as far as the three line setup goes this is basically uh trying to mimic uh isaac's build on this that he talked about some time ago with some changes here and there uh just to make it more comfortable for me but it has a decent ads really good one shot capabilities all around very consistent sniper mercury silencer though first and foremost doesn't hurt your ads or anything but helps out with the velocity the first barrel the 514 better ads so makes it a little bit more snappy and better velocity yet again we got the 3.5 times scope or whatever scope you're comfortable with for sniping even the base optic if you want uh mz stock my very own custom mz stock for better ADS yet again. We got Skeletal for better ADS. The 20 round mags here, which help out more with that one shot capability. Lengthened, I go for fabric here for the better ADS, better sprint to fire and everything. A lot of players also like to use leather, so you definitely got some options there. Silent focus uh, or side of hand here for the reload, uh, either or, I'm not gonna lie, none of these perks are particularly incredible. And lastly, I definitely have on hand for that faster ADS. And then for the Cooper here, I got the MX silencer and the Cooper custom barrel. This is primarily meant for medium range and some close range. It's still nice and aggressive, not too slow, so it works well for both. 2.5 times optic, not too much zoom for close range, nice and comfortable there. Skeletal stock to get some movement back and get some mobility back. The control is still super easy, even though they nerfed it on the 9mm60, which of course we're using. So uh, you can still handle this thing very easily, especially in mid range. So you don't need to waste the stock on control, especially when we got the Carver built for that. So that'll help out some lengthened, hatched on there for better control. Yet again, same deal with tight grip and on hand for that faster ADS, again, making it a little bit more aggressive. But all that being said, those are my top 10 loadouts to be using in Warzone right now. Plenty of very competitive options. In the coming days, we're gonna break down some more niche loadouts for Rebirth and then also Fortune's Keep specifically because there are a lot more alternatives there too. So stay on the lookout for those, but that's gonna wrap things up for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you're new here, feel free to hit that sub button, turn on those post notifications. That way you'll always be up to date with everything going on in COD. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.